YouTubers, it's a Sunday morning in Ramsgate in Kent and I'm in my radio shack and my name is Andy and my call sign is Mike Zero Delta Romeo November. Now I'll give you a quick panorama view here. You can see that I like my Raykels RA17, <laughs> RA17s. I've actually got three in the shack but I'll let you into a secret. <laughs> I've got three more elsewhere. Now, I'm going to tell you something that I discovered over the last couple of days. And that's it. That, and that is that you can actually hear a long wave. You can, use, you can hear long wave on the Raykel RA17. And mine's a 17L, 17L Mark III version. Um, I would assume that the other versions are the same. You can actually hear long wave without using a converter by just using the aerial system itself. Now that's pretty good for me because one of my favourite uh, stations on the medium wave, a station I listen to all the time, is BBC Radio 4. Now there's a couple of uh, medium wave outlets on it, but uh, you know you've got the main uh, outlet on uh, 198 uh, kilohertz on the on the long wave band. So uh, I'll show you how I listen to it. Uh, normally you would need a converter. A low frequency converter uh, like this one here this one I've got here is a lovely one actually it's been completely refurbished uh, by Ian Roper GM0 UHC so it's been re refurbished and realigned but it isn't connected at the moment but to use it you have to connect it to the two ports on the back uh, of the uh, receiver and you have to uh, also co uh, uh, connect the AC to the AC inputs on the back of the receiver. It's not complicated. It's fairly straightforward. But uh, it just means uh, to operate it, you have to do some switching, switch between the converter and the, uh, and the receiver. Now, I was told that uh, the RA117L is not very good or loses a, a lot of uh, gain below 980 uh, kilohertz. And uh, that's uh, why they do the converter. And that, uh, this converter takes you all the way down to the long wave band. But the long wave band uh, these days don't contain too many European stations. I mean, if you live in the UK, you'll hear Radio 4. Uh, and that, sorry, you'll hear Radio 4. I mean, it doesn't contain too many European stations these days. Uh, the main ones here that I can hear is Radio 4 uh, on 198 uh, kilohertz and and RTE Radio 1, sorry, RTE Radio 1, they're the Irish Republican station on, I think it's 252. So they're the only two English stations that I'd be interested in listening to. So I've discovered that actually with careful tuning, this uh, RA117L will uh, take you all the way down to 198 uh, kilohertz with a reasonable reception. Now, I found it, close this door here, close the door of the shack. I have found that there's two ways I can listen to it without using the converter. So at the moment the converter's off, uh, and uh, I'll show you. Uh, I've got two receivers here to show you the two different ways of, of actually tuning in. There, that's one, and that's another receiver. By the way, this is another uh, refurbished receiver by Ian Roper, but this one here is a barn find off eBay. Didn't have to do anything to this. It's in remarkably good condition. Got it very cheap. <laughs> very, very cheap indeed. It's surprising how cheap I got it. Okay, so let's listen to Long Wave. Now, I'm uh, just going to grab my chair over. Apologies, it's a hand job here. This is the only camera I've got my mobile phone. So, the receiver's tuned to uh, 198 uh, kilohertz. Uh, and what I've had to do is turn the pre-selector off. At the front, the wave, the uh, attenuated, sorry, the uh, RF range uh, pre selector, uh, because that only starts at uh, 500 kilohertz, uh, the first setting of that. So that's in the wide band position here. Uh, and I just turn the volume up. At the moment, the there's a, a, a program Protect of the archers on at the moment, it's Sunday morning. It's the Archer's Omnibus. Let's have a listen. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. 
And by the way, the AGC is, is even set to AGC. It's not set to manual. It's all the way up. But the tune is quite critical. Well, it's not as critical as I as I thought actually, and that's set uh, to wide six 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 point five kilohertz uh, wide band bandwidth rather. That's set to three kilohertz, and that's set to thirteen kilohertz. Now, how actually? Oh, I thought it got off. No, it's just a pause. <laughs> I'll turn the volume down a bit. How do how do I manage to tune it in? Well, here I've got a medium wave uh, pre selector so a medium wave pre selector, but I have this is home home built, and it uses plug-in coils over there like that. That coil's taken off off an old uh, receiver that had long wave on it, so. Uh, I can. I'm actually using a homebrew pre-selector. I guess you can get a, a commercial one. And the way the pre-selector works, see, I'm sure it was just you just, you, so you just tune it in, and it's directional as well. So that's pretty good. Pretty simple. So this simple pre-selector, which is no more than an aerial amplifier with a ferret rod from Edia Wave on it, that's all it is, and a tuner. It, that's all it is. No more than a loop amplifier, and that's uh, homemade. If anyone wants a circuit, contact me, and I'll be more than happy to su su supply it. It's a lot easier than using this <laughs> this lovely thing, cheaper, and that that's fantastic reception. Now let, I'll let you listen to RTE Radio One, so which is on two five two. It's very 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 sharp the tune in here. So let's uh, adjust the pre-selector here, see if I can pick it up. Yep, Irish Republican RT Radio 1. Actually, with this set to wideband, it's at Skillerhurt, you choose not so critical, that's a better reception. So if you live in Ireland, if you haven't done before, or even if you don't live in Ireland and you want to hear RT Radio 1, uh, just tune in. And that's... that's you Here you go. Now that reception, that quality is as good as any. I think it's quite hi-fi and it's quite punchy, the audio. Uh, and I'm saying this is a radio, radio that hasn't been aligned. This this radio was built in 1960, and I don't think it's had anything changed to it. So uh, it shows you uh, what you can do. Now, okay, so that's using the pre-selector. I'm going to turn this off at the moment. Just turn that off, uh, avoid confusion. So that's with the pre-selector. Uh, I'll turn the pre-selector off here because we don't need it anymore. Right, the other method is just with an aero. Just with an aerial. Now this aerial is quite a long one. I'm quite lucky really because it's a top band. It's for the top band. So it would go, it's really designed for, I use it for general or short wave listening. But it, it's resident if I want to transmit on, on the top band, which is uh, 160 meters uh, and uh, 1.8 1, 1 kilo, kilohertz. Oh, sorry, 180, 180. What, are, what am I talking about? I'm getting confused. It's my age. But okay, so just with the aero, I've got the aero patched in here on my patch panel over there. The aero's patched in. The aero's actually outside in the garden, right across the garden. Let me turn the volume up. It's not. It's not as strong as with a pre-selector, but it's still audible. Uh, I'm just going to try, oops, sorry for messing the camera around. I'm just going to try something. Let me just uh, try something with the arrow here. I thought, I, no, I was trying to uh, remove the braid, but... Uh, 
Now just use the in internal section of the arrow that the car spray, but no. It's not as good as the pre-selector, but still, still perfectly audible. And if I was to mess around with that a little bit, if I was to mess around with that a little bit, uh, it would I could improve the reception. You know, if I was to fill around with it to get it exactly how I want. I want to just set it up, really, I set, turn the radio on enough, you don't have to touch it, of course, I'll let you change frequency. So, this will give you the uh, ability to listen to Radio 4 in the shack, either via pre-selector or via an ear on antenna. And I think this is, all in terms of purposes for, for this, is, uh, is a long, long wire sort of effect. Uh, again, the uh, it's set to wideband, the pre-selector is set to wideband. Okay, let's have a listen to RTE uh, Radio 1 and 252. Not as good with the pre-selector, but uh, still. You can still listen to it. And when you consider that you're not supposed to really hear such low frequencies. So that's RTE Radio 1. Uh, 252. Apologies if it's Radio 2, but I believe it's RT Radio 1, the Irish station. So that's it, folks. It shows how what a pleasure it is to actually own some of these receivers and what a pleasure to be able to listen listen to them. I mean, if, if you uh, get the opportunity to buy one, I, I would. You'd probably pick a reasonable one up for about 100 quid or even less. I mean, I've paid less for these, these two. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so... You know, you'll, you know, you do well, and they're a pleasure to use, really are. It's just like, you know, every schoolboy's dream. Could you imagine when you were younger, to be able to, you know, when you were a teenager, <laughs> for me, that would be back in the uh, in the 60s, to be able to own one of these with all these knobs? Oh, my God, absolutely no way. But now, thank God, uh, you I can own several, and uh, they're, they're very easy to maintain. I say, you know, Val's... All the components in this one have been changed by Ian Roper. All the, all the, all the capacitors, it's been completely realigned. So, there you go. So, folks, I just thought I'd just uh, share that with you. How to listen to long wave on a uh, Raykel RA seventeen. Mine's a seventeen L uh, Mark three, without using the uh, low low frequency adapter. That's all, folks. Uh, 73 from Ramsgate in Kent. Hope this video is useful. Please uh, let me know in your comments. Thank you very much all. 73.